Hello there, my friend, and welcome to part three of this Facebook marketing strategy training. I am Angela, and in this video, I will be sharing with you 12 simple things that you can start to do on your Facebook profile page so that you can start to generate between five to 10 targeted leads from your Facebook profile page without having to spend a single penny on ads. Now, in order for you to get the most out of this presentation, you got to realize that with organic Facebook marketing, it takes time. There is no quick fix here. If you want quick results, you need to spend money. But if you do this consistently over a period of time, you will start to see results. So this is what I have learned in my years on online, on training, and uh, I'm sharing this with you. And they will actually put links in the description to show you the different places where I'm getting this training from. But what you need to understand more importantly than that is that this stuff works if you work it. And I'm gonna be able to show you that um step by step so i'll go through the uh, bits of the presentation and i'm going to go into my uh profile page and show you exactly what i'm talking about now the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure you connect with your target audience every single day. This is why this is part, part three of the three part video series, because we talked about your target audience and your avatar. So you need to add between 30 to 50 new friends on your Facebook profile page every day. But these are not just friends, these are your target audience. So to do this, you need to go to a Facebook group where your target audience is hanging out. Then you need to engage in a few posts and then send them friend requests with messages and um and then after you've done that some of those will, will will respond they'll accept you others will even respond with a message and what you need to do then is you need to to then when when people accept your your, your friend request and they engage with you before you respond to them go onto the profile page engage with the post get to know about what a bit about what it is that they're all about and then send them a message based on what you see on the profile page and if you're watching this within the uh, the members area i will give you access to proven scripts scripts that work uh, scripts on reaching out in uh, uh, accepting everything i have done for your scripts if you can copy and paste then you can actually start to implement this straight away without having to um to to think about it and reinvent the wheel and then the next thing you need to do is when you accept new friends you need to think really hard uh, don't just accept everybody because not everybody's your target audience so when you get um uh, a request make sure you go onto the profile have a look at it and then see if they're your target audience if they are engaged and then send them a message based on what you see on the profile page and um, send birthday wishes do this every single day the facebook notifies you when people have birthdays so in order for you to to start to engage with them go to the time to the profile page some of them don't allow you to post on the time but if they do post a happy birthday and then engage with a few posts and then send them a message what you're doing here is you're making sure that every single day you have people that you can talk to about your business and then make sure you unfriend any time wasters because you only get 5,000 Facebook friends make sure they count if you have people on your Facebook profile which is like a train it has limited availability and uh, they're just taking up space you need to make sure you throw them out of the train and uh, you, you you have the space there for people who are your target audience so let's go ahead and actually show you in real time how to do these things you have to do this every single day commit to doing them every single day because that's the way you're going to get results so the first thing you need to do is you go to the groups that you're a member of and um you you go i'm going to go to this one for, for this uh, purpose of this example and then first thing you need to do is scroll down and engage in the different posts you see this video here i would actually watch this video and then i'll make a comment about the video i watched okay and then um, if this video, um, this person here is spamming, so I'm not going to engage in that. And then here, somebody asking a question that's me liking and actually answering the questions. And then um, see here, this is the owner of the group. And 
um, you, I can like this, I can comment, and then if I wanted to, I could click on, on the likes, I can click on the hearts, because these are people who are active in the group, and I can actually send them friend requests if I wanted to, okay? And uh, I can actually do the same with comments as well. So you can actually go ahead and target people who are active. But before you do that, go ahead and engage in the, in the groups. Always love, forget about the like, love and comment. And then if you want to, you can do what I do as well. You can go to the members area. And in the members area, you can scroll down and find members with things in common. And you can go ahead and send these people friend requests as well. Okay. That's the first bit we talked about. What was the second bit? Just a quick reminder. Um, oh, accept. So once they accept your friend request, so go back to your profile page, um, you can actually, some of them will actually respond with a message. You can, before you respond back, click on the profile page, go to the profile page and actually engage with their post, get to know what they're about. And then when you send them a message, send them a video message if you can, refer to what you've seen on the profile page. If you can't send a video, send an audio. If you can't, then just, just write, but always re refer to what's on the Facebook profile page. I do this every single day. And then the third thing is when people send you friend requests, so Facebook will always notify you, so friend requests. So I'm actually, I'm after retaking this video, but um, actually let me show you here. I accepted him, John Smith, because I can see that it's, he's a real person. So you, you, you vet them and see, right, do I want to respond? Do I want to connect with them? And if you do, you, you engage in the post, comment, and then you respond. Uh, this guy here was removed because I looked at his post and there's nothing going on there. So I removed that. Uh, Cody here, I, I knew I was going to confirm because we had over 100 friends in common. And then I saw this, I was like, yeah, tick, yeah, tick, and scroll down, definitely. So I'd engage first and then uh, send him a message and so on and so forth. So I can tell you, I'll ex most likely accept them, but I'll just vet them real quick, engage in the post and then send them a message, okay? So you can do this every single day. And then the birthday one here, if I show you real time, so if I go back to friends and I go to birthdays, you can see here that I'm doing this on a daily basis. So I write on the wall and I send them a message. She, she doesn't, Jenna doesn't allow people to post on the wall. So I send her a message and then here I wrote on the wall. But if I go to the message here, you can see that I sent a birthday message and you can see she responded back. So what this is doing is it's opening doors for communication, getting to know if they have a, a problem to a solution that I have to offer. And the other thing that you want to do is as well, don't be afraid to unfriend people who are, you're not a fit, okay? Because remember, you just have those 5,000 friends. So that is how you can make sure that every single day your inbox is flooded and my inbox is flooded. I'm actually struggling to stay on top of it because of doing these things. And it may take weeks, months, uh, definitely not years, but if you do this consistently, you will always wake up to targeted leads that you can talk to and offer solutions to whatever problems that they have. So once you connect with people, make sure in your head, you know, every day, right, I have to connect with people. Okay. You can split this into twice a day, whatever way you want to do, but you need to do this. The next thing you want to do is you want to engage. Okay. Cause this is a social networking platform. And the way you do that is you respond to notifications. So I'm going to show you exactly. You go to the notifications tab, click see all, and then click on one of the notifications, and then you, you respond to the notifications. I'll show you that. And then you go to your news feed, and then you make sure you scroll down the news feed and you love and uh, comment on whatever you see on your news feed. Make sure you resonate with them and make sure when you comment, just say more than five words so you stand out and uh, make it relevant, okay? So make sure if it's something that needs a heart or if something that needs a laugh, make sure you do, you're do you relevant. And then engage in groups. So go into uh, your, your group, scroll down and make sure you engage in the groups, heart and comment. And let's go ahead and show you this, what I do every day. So here on my Facebook profile page, I go to notifications and then I go to see all. And then I scroll down here and scroll down and uh, I can see whatever, whatever ones that I want to respond to. Okay. So uh, I click on this for instance, 
I scroll down so you can see what I'm doing works, getting likes and comments. And this is this is not about an ego thing. It's about uh, it's a marketing thing. So I can scroll down here and I make sure that I respond to all these um, people who engage. They took time to engage in my stuff. So I respond to them and I go onto the profile page and I also engage in their stuff. So if I just click Laura here randomly, you'll see that I was, I was able to come in here and engage in her stuff as well. Okay. So it's about uh, reciprocation. And um, okay, so that's notifications. And then the next thing I do is I go to groups and then the groups I'm in, because I've done this already, uh, they've disappeared. I don't have much, but I literally come down and the groups that I'm actively in, I make sure I love and I comment, okay? Love and comment. And um, if you see these, these are people who have invited me to join groups. So I just click that and say hide post because I'm very particular about the groups that I join because I'm joining them for a reason. Okay, so there's not any of them that I'll actually engage in, but make sure you go down, um, engage and comment and make sure if you can provide value, go ahead and do that. Now, the next thing is, doo -doo 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 -doo. so notification, groups, and then, pro yeah, here on your home feed, this is your news feed. So come down here and like and, and comment and go down. So you need to schedule time yourself and do this every single day and without a doubt your inbox I'm, I'm even even in the training you can see the inbox coming people uh, messaging you're never gonna run out of people to talk to about your business the next thing is you need to actually go out there and start to promote your offer now you need to make sure that you have a posting strategy don't just go link 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 don't go spamming your link on your profile page because when people come on your profile page and they see there's just link after link after link they're going to be turned away you're not going to get a chance to to build a relationship with them so after engaging with people on your newsfeed and after following that so if you can go through this the way i'm doing it step by step this is how i do it then you can actually go ahead and uh, start to post something. But make sure that um, um, you've warmed up your newsfeed by actually engaging in other people's posts first. And when, you in, when you're posting, make sure you have some engaging posts. So posts that are like jokes that are gonna cause people to engage in that. Uh, quotes are really good. Uh, memes are great. Uh, advice question this is a big one that I'm doing now like you just uh, I just kind of uh, do I just say things that I know that people are going to respond to and if you have industry news so you're kind of just doing stuff that that's going to get people to to engage that's that's the intention behind that post and always respond to people who interact with your posts I just shown you that and then go ahead and interact with their posts as well it's a nice thing to do and then the other thing you can do is you can actually go ahead and post ads in groups and um, there are over 2 billion people on Facebook and half of those are in groups. So you need to make sure that you can find your ideal prospects, add them as friends, and then you can actually go ahead and post your ads. If you want a list of 100 Facebook groups that you can join uh, that allow you to post ads, I'll have a link to that. So you can actually go ahead and start to post your ads in those groups because all those groups are designed for that purpose in particular. And then you need to engage in your news feed. So I just kind of went through that. Uh, uh, so after you post, you actually, so you engage before and after posting, and then you're gonna see, you're gonna get more engagements that way. And then the last thing is automate and duplicate the process. So if you're interesting, interested in leveraging technology, because I'm pretty sure that you can see that it all takes a lot of time to do the things, but if you do them properly every single day, you'll start to see results. But if you want to hire a, a virtual assistant so that you can leverage the, the, some of these tasks and then you just put your personality into it um, uh, then uh, I'll put links in the description links wherever you're watching this so that you can get access to software that can help you automate some of this but you still have to go in there and put in your your personality because people do business with people they know like a trust that's what this organic training has been has been about so thank you so much for watching this training. 
just to remind you that it, this stuff works. It absolutely works, but it takes time for it to actually work. So you can see here, I have over 2,630 friends. These are my target audience. They're all there for, um, for a purpose and for a reason, and I'm here offering value to them. So uh, thank you so much for watching this training. The next training series will, do, uh, will be to do with uh, YouTube, uh, because YouTube is an amazing platform that I'm using to drive organic traffic to my offer. And I'm looking forward to putting together a step-by-step -step training for you, showing you exactly what I do to what I've actually done to get my YouTube channel to a thousand subscribers and how I am able to, to generate uh, leads and sales from YouTube. Uh, so make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on that. Uh, I've been Angela wishing you the best year ever. Thank you and have a fantastic day.